might be off work. Hey there, Catherine! Good day, you two. It's nice to see you here at this festive time. So, got any jobs for us? Hmm. I'm afraid I'd struggle to find you any commissions in the near future. With the arrival of the Windbloom Festival, the only task most Mondstadters are busy with is preparing gifts for their loved ones, but it's customary to do this oneself without assistance. Think of this period as the off-season for the Mondstadt branch of the Adventurers Guild. Spring is here, love is in the air, and everyone wants to relax and enjoy themselves. Even the cats at the tavern next door have been getting lovey-dovey with one another recently. Ew. Gross. You know that feeling you get when you burst out the doors after a nice nap, hoping to make it to the store before the limited edition drinks sell out, only to get there just in time to see the last two glasses snatched away right from under your nose by a couple of pesky lovebirds? <sighs> That's what this feels like. <laughs> Perhaps you two could simply take this chance to... Traveler! Paimon! Thank goodness I found you. Um, there's something I need your help with. Whoa! Sucrose? What is wrong with you? That's no way to greet a friend we haven't seen in so long. Uh, no. Not help like in the Windbloom sense. It's just... <sighs> How do I explain? Go ahead, Sucrose. We don't have anything else to do right now anyway. Phew. Okay. Here's the situation. I've been appointed as the Windbloom Festival Special Ambassador by the Knights of Favonius this year. My task is to do good deeds for people during this festival of gratitude and love. Nice one! So how did they decide who to appoint anyway? They spun an empty bottle donated by Angel Share inside a circle with all our names on it. Whoever's name the bottle stopped at got chosen. I think so too. But everyone said that it was to make it fair, so everyone had an equal chance to become the special ambassador. The thing is, I'm not great at dealing with people, so I was really daunted by it at first. But I'm still glad that I got this role. Luckily, I came up with a way to spur myself on, which has helped. Have a look. Is that a test tube? Yep, every time I do a good deed for someone, I get them to breathe into a test tube. That way, I can collect everyone's breaths of joy. Sounds... fascinating! Are you gonna use them in your research? Yes. I believe these breaths of joy will serve as valuable raw materials for our chemical transmutation. With any luck, I'll be able to produce something truly miraculous. Mmm. Darn, now Paimon's hungry. Wait! You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> Actually... I meant something even more exciting than that. I can't say for sure until I have more test results to confirm my hypothesis, though. Alchemists mustn't make claims they can't live up to. Anyway, I'm still missing one final breath of joy. Oh, is that all you need help with? That's easy! Just treat Paimon to a sweet madam, then you'll get your last breath of joy! Okay? <sighs> so, does it need to be more like official or ceremonious or something? No, joy isn't measured in those terms at all. Let me put it this way. Have you ever planted a fruit seed and cared for it while it grows? In the same way that those tender, sweet fruits are the product of your time and effort, the amount of joy derived from an experience is positively correlated to the degree of hardship overcome during it. For example, in my case, I would say that to experience a statistically significant amount of joy, 
I'd have to do something like spend six months developing a medicine formula to a point where it was finally consistently effective. Similarly, in order to collect a significant amount of joy from other people, I have to find ways to do something sufficiently challenging on their behalf. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Long story short, you want us to help you find people for you to help. Oh, that's pretty tough given that it's the Windbloom Festival and all. Oh, I figured since you're such experienced travelers, you might have some ideas. But if even you don't know how to approach this... Really? You have a plan? Well, if she's in, then Paimon will help too! With the talking, anyway. But, um, if things don't work out, can Paimon still get that sweet madame? Oh, come on, Traveler! This is a festival of gratitude and love, after all! How could you refuse? Excuse me, Sucrose? Could I borrow you for a second? Package for you. Oh, sure. Be right back. Wait! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? That's Kale, right? When did she arrive at Mondstadt? What are the chances? You are staring into space just now. Something the matter? Um... <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm fine. I was just looking at a Mondstadt children's book in the souvenir shop over there. While I was flipping through it, a piece of paper fell out. The writing on it was really mysterious. Almost like a prophecy. If you can do these things... You may light the lantern of utmost joy and receive a supreme blessing. And what does these things refer to? Find a flower that is not of this world. Find a guide who will never get lost. Find one who would never lie. Find a legend that never ends. So, four things in total. Here, have a look. I asked a lady who owns the store about it, but she said that she didn't know anything about any paper slips. Hi there. Sorry to butt in, but... What's the name of that storybook you just mentioned? Oh, <laughs> It was called The Boar Princess. Hmm. That is strange. I've read that book, and it sounds like that note you found has no relation to the story at all. Um... Do you know her? Let Paimon do the honors. Kale, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Avonius. And Sucrose, meet Kale. She's a trainee forest ranger from Sumeru's Avidia Forest. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, mm -mm. uh, this is getting awkward fast. They're both so shy. So, Sucrose. What are your thoughts on this prophecy? Could it be real? I, um... Without having done any research, I couldn't comment definitively. Mm. Um, but if you want my subjective opinion, I don't think that it's a nasty prank or anything. The only people who read children's books are those with a childlike wonder and imagination. Or... Children, of course. I'm sure that whoever put this prophecy there would understand that. 
Would they really do this just to spread lies and ruin someone's innocence? I can't imagine anyone being so cruel. That's a great take! I love it! Exactly! Who would want to hurt a child's feelings? Okay, so... What do you think the blessing is, Sucrose? Hmm... Um... If I had to guess... Maybe a fairy that can make people's wishes come true or something? I haven't read many fairy tales, so this is pure speculation. With no other information on hand or prior research to compare against, I'm afraid it might not even be worth considering. Wow! Her guesswork is really good, though. I want to pick her brain some more. But... Will she find it annoying if I keep asking her questions? We've only just met after all. Uh, what's the best thing to say to someone you're meeting for the first time? Uh, well, <laughs> yes. I, I mean, if possible. Then, what would you wish for, Kale? Um, I'd wish for a... A better personality. Uh huh. Huh? You can't waste it on that. You've got a great personality already. That's very kind of you. Uh, but if you know me like I do. Kali! I know that voice. It's. Whew. You made good time, huh? You're way earlier than I expected. I spotted your green hair way off in the distance. Good thing my eyes are sharp, or I'd have missed you. Amber! Have you been doing well? Did you... finish all the pita pockets I brought you last time? You bet. They're getting yummier each time you make them. Huh? Wait, remind Paimon, have you been to Monstat before? Mm-hmm. A long time ago, I had a lot of help from a lot of people here in Mondstadt. So ever since my Elizar got better, I've been looking out for an opportunity to come back to Mondstadt and tell them all the news that I've been cured. <laughs> Thanks. If it's okay with everyone, why don't I take Kale for a walk around town? I'd like to show her some of the places she didn't get to see last time. Of course. Fine by me. Sure, go right ahead! I, uh... Um... Sorry, Amber. I agreed to meet my traveling companions by the city gate in a few minutes, so... I can't go with you just yet. Oh, that's alright. In that case, you guys go rest up, and I'll go see Master Jean to ask for some time off. Oh, okay. Traveler Sucrose, could you look after Kale for now? I'll come get her later and take her out. There's still a whole bunch of people I need to introduce her to. Sure, no problem. Awesome. See you later then. <sighs> um. You all right there, Kale? You look kinda disappointed. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just feeling a little shy today. Don't worry about me. <sighs> Amber wants to introduce me to more of her friends. Am I gonna be able to cope? I've only met Sucro so far, and I'm already struggling to make conversation. I wish I had a little more self-confidence, but I'd find it much easier to make friends with people. Uh, it's nearly time! Let's go to the gate and see if they've arrived.
You, Gray, you're up. <laughs> Welcome to Mondstadt. Hope you enjoy the Wind Bloom Festival. Why is this humble windmill such a great view? I mean, it's understandable. It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. Because it is the true Great Vayu Viastra? <sighs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you don't get it. View, Vayu, and also Mahamatra. Vayu Viastra? No? Kanari! Sino! Over here! Whew, am I glad to see you. And who's this young lady? Master, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Favonius. We just met. See, Chris? This is my teacher, Tainari. He's a highly respected forest watcher in Sumeru, and he's also a very famous botanist. Kale's exaggerating. I'm Tainari. Pleased to meet you. <sighs> so you have a teacher as well. The pleasure is all mine, Tainari, sir. Yep, he's extremely knowledgeable, too. And this is General Mahamatra Sino of the Sumeru Academia. He's really famous in Sumeru as well! Greetings. Though if I might say so, we're purely here for personal reasons. You needn't be unduly concerned with our official positions. And Kale, there's no need to use my full title. Sino is fine. Or sir, if you absolutely must. Indeed. We're not here in an official capacity. Just to keep Kale company on her vacation. Keep me company? But it was you two that insisted on coming! Kale is very important to us. We felt obliged to ensure her safety on the long, treacherous journey to Mondstadt. But I've been here on my own loads of times before! What about your work, though? What if something bad happens while the General Mahamatra's away? There should be no issues. I have left my duties in the hands of my subordinates, and two especially reliable helpers. Oh, Sucrose! What were you saying about you having a teacher as well? I was just going to mention that... I think we're in a somewhat similar situation. I'm an assistant to Mr. Albedo, Mondstadt's genius alchemist. Oh, please, Sucrose. Genius is an unnecessary epithet. It will serve only to leave an exaggerated impression of me in the minds of our guests. M Mr. Albedo, but it is an objective truth. Hey, Albedo's here too! Great! The more the merrier! Hmm. So tell me, Sucrose, since your specialty is bioalchemy, what do you know about the antitoxic properties of the calla lily? Wait, wait! Can we hold off on the nerdy topic for now? Pilot doesn't want to be left out. Oh, as it happens, I've studied the calla lily in quite some detail before, with it being a species native to Mondstadt. I wrote a whole report on my findings. If you're interested, Mr. Tainari, sir, I can go get it for you. <sighs> We're supposed to be here on vacation, and you're already thinking about how to improve your herbal medicines? Also, I thought we'd agreed to take on new identities for this trip. What new identities? Mine was Adventurer Sino, skilled desert explorer. Tainari's was technological consultant to the treasure hoarders, and Kale's was traveling musician. Very much so. 
I do wish some of the less cautious adventurers in the Avidya Forest would consider coming to Mondstadt instead. What Philanimo mushrooms lack in texture, they make up for in not causing vomiting or diarrhea. <laughs> Are you contemplating using some compounds from the calla lily as active ingredients in a targeted antidote? Yes, I gathered a few on the way here, and my initial research suggests to me that it could be worth a try. Okay, I got it. But... As much as I don't wish to be a wet blanket, it takes a huge amount of experimental data to conclusively prove how different drugs interact. Estimating the total development time would be very difficult. Add in the time for procurement and delivery of essential materials, and I'm not sure if we could complete development before you need to return. Then please, allow me to help. Mr. Albedo! Apologies for my tardy entrance in the present discussion. I understand you're looking to make an antidote for poisonous fungi, correct? If you happen to have some samples with you, or relevant documentation on hand, perhaps you might give me the chance to review them later. But before that, I invite the three of you to look at this. Food and lodging arrangements? Were you quietly writing this up the whole time? Pylon didn't even notice! Hardly. Rather... I should apologize for interrupting a serious discussion between trained professionals, especially after they've traveled so far to be here, when I myself am neither an adventurer, nor a technological consultant, nor a musician. Nevertheless, I would encourage you to have a knowledgeable local arrange your detailed itinerary while you're in Mondstadt. Take a look. And should you find anything here to be objectionable, it can easily be adjusted. This is too kind of you. These arrangements are quite excellent. It looks great! Even Paimon feels like tagging along for the food and board. That's why it's called tagging along! Very comprehensive. The adventurer, technological consultant, and musician all approve. Thank you. Just one thing. We'd like the chance to cook as well. Why don't we change the group dinner to a camping and cooking trip? I'll help pitch the tents! I can help too. Um, and Paima will take her to Good Hunter to order some starters. Monstat's cold cut platter is not to be missed. Great, then it's decided. Sucrose and I will bring the three of you to your inn for a quick rest. You two, let's meet by the lake this evening. Hey, Sarah! Can we have a cold cut platter to go? Sure, coming right up. Would you like anything else? Um, do we, uh, want anything else? Yay! So you do remember after all! You're just the best! Paimon will give you the sweet flower from that sweet madame as a wind bloom. <laughs> no need to worry about that. Paimon can make room for good food. <laughs> All right, just a moment. Oh, mm, that was great. If that was a wind bloom treat, then Paimon wishes it could be the wind bloom festival every day. I 
Pochachichi. <laughs>